All right, we're gonna get started on the enclosures for the, the membrane traps. I'm using three quarter inch MDF uh, for this type of trapping. It's, it's the most advantageous to use the most dense material you can. For me, that's MDF here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a uh, biscuit joiner to help out. Uh, usually it's used, um, well, one of the benefits of it is it creates more surface area for gluing. I'm not necessarily concerned with that. What I'm more interested in with this is using it for alignment uh, when I glue and clamp. So what a biscuit joiner does, for those of you who don't know, is it creates these little cutouts here. I've, I've done a couple samples in this piece of scrap. And then once they're in place, then you take one of these biscuits right here and you put it in there like that. And you'll have a uh, another hole like that in this piece of wood for example so maybe right right here and then you'll take this and it'll fit nicely into that hole on the edge and that will give you a nice reference and it'll hold it in place while you clamp it I'm gonna just put a glue along here and along here uh, so basically this is gonna be the back of the the enclosure and I'll have eight inch sides that come up which are all down there so I need to uh, carve out a bunch of little holes for these biscuits all the way around you see I've marked them I basically started right at the middle of this piece and then I want to foot out uh, all the way around on here I didn't here I just did two six inches from center and uh, then I, I, I did the same thing on here. You can see those marks. That's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the biscuits there. And that should line up nicely for us. And uh, after I do all these, we'll come back and uh, I'll show you what I did. And uh, we'll, we'll take you along the way. Now we have all of the biscuit holes punched out here, around the perimeter here, and also on these pieces. See if I can do this while holding the camera. I'll show you how these this works out. So we'll just put one in each thing. Sorry about the camera work. There's one there. Alright. So now they're in there. Now I'll just grab this piece. One hand, I guess. And hopefully. So as you can see. It just kind of, so now this will need to be clamped here, obviously, because it's a little off. But as you can see, it's a really nice seam and fit. And the glue will go in there and we'll clamp it right up. So I'm going to put the whole thing together just quickly without any glue. And then I'll uh, show you what that looks like. Okay. Quickly put this together. This is again just a dry fit. As you can see, it really does a really good job of keeping everything in line. Now over here it looks a little weird because this is drooping down off that small table. But you can see if I just pull this up a little bit, see how perfect that fits. It's a little, they'll need a little shaving up top. The mill guys weren't that precise, obviously. But down here is great. This all needs to be airtight, and which I'll show you guys in a little bit, well, later after I build it. But here is our coffin. I mean, not coffin. Huh. Anyway, uh, next we're gonna clamp and glue it. Okay, I got everything glued up here. Nothing really fancy, just standard wood glue and uh, a whole bunch of uh, bar clamps. Made sure everything was nice and uh, snugly fit as I could. And uh, the only thing that's a little interesting about this trap is there's a membrane that kind of runs across here. Obviously, it's this this line right here is where the membrane will be. Everything behind that membrane needs to be airtight, uh, including the membrane itself. So I will, after this dries and I take off the clamps, I will uh, 
run a bead of caulk all the way around every one of the seams. So that's where we're at so far, no problems, uh, as expected. Um, this is the easy part though. So I took all the clamps off, everything looks pretty good. Um, I used OSI acoustic caulk here all the way around the edges to make sure that it would be airtight behind the uh, membrane, which again is going to go on this line. Uh, I added these right here because that there'll be fabric that kind of um, below this line here there'll be just regular insulation and then fabric will be taunt across to prevent the insulation from touching the membrane. Uh, this center brace is just that, just a brace for uh, structural integrity. So I just uh, Brad nailed that right to that and uh, with a little bit of glue and that'll dry overnight. And then this one, as far as the enclosure is concerned and everything until the second step is done. So we're gonna build five more of these and then move on to the membrane and the frames that hold it, which should be a fun process for sure. So uh, again, thanks guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give me a like if you want, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one for the uh, part two, which is building the membranes of the, the membrane traps. All right, guys. See you.